In their pursuit to explore the hidden realms of space, scientists have successfully developed remarkable and highly advanced telescopes that have unveiled numerous dazzling celestial objects. However, amidst the mysterious entities and phenomena encountered in space, 2017 shocked the world with the arrival of Amuya. Now, this strange interstellar traveler is back again. Why has Amu reappeared? Could it possibly hold a message from an extraterrestrial civilization? Let's find out the reasons behind AMU AMU's sudden reappearance as it sets its course towards Earth. In the past few decades, astronomers have dedicated their efforts to observing space and detecting objects traversing our solar system. Yet, their endeavors remained inconclusive until the advent of a Muamua. This shocking discovery triggered a heated debate among scientists worldwide and intensified attempts to locate similar interstellar visitors. While various theories have been proposed to explain the true nature of this object, its distinctive elongated cigar-like shape and variations in brightness have led some experts, such as Ave Lub, to speculate about a possible artificial origin. Although the broader scientific community has dismissed this notion as lacking sufficient evidence, the recent reappearance of AMU Amua might be signaling something different. Keep watching to discover what characteristics of AMU Amua point to a possible alien connection and what its return means to the world. But first, let's delve into how AMU Amua was discovered. AMU Amua made its arrival in our solar system on October 19, 2017. What made the discovery remarkable was that AMU Amua was not found using any regular space telescope but was instead spotted by Robert Worry using the PanStars 1 telescope in Hawaii. Amua, which means scout or messenger in Hawaiian, reflected the notion that it could be the first interstellar visitor ever observed by humans. Measuring approximately 800 meters in length and a mere 80 meters wide, Amua had an elongated cigar-like shape. Its unusual shape sparked intense speculation about its origin and nature. Some suggested it could be an alien spacecraft, others proposed more natural explanations, such as a fragment of a larger celestial body or a comet-like object stripped of its volatile materials. The trajectory of AMU Amua added to its enigmatic nature. Unlike objects originating from our own solar system, AMU Amua entered the solar system at an angle that deviated from the expected orbital paths, indicating that it came from another star system, traveling through interstellar space for millions or even billions of years before encountering our Sun. The exact duration of its stay within our solar system is estimated to be around two months. Through careful analysis of its trajectory and velocity, scientists determined that AMU Amua originated from outside our solar system, likely in the vicinity of another star. It entered our solar system from above the plane of the planet swing around the sun and embarked on a hyperbolic trajectory, indicating its imminent return to interstellar space. Despite its close approach to the sun, AMU Amua resisted its gravitational pull. It moved too swiftly to be captured by the sun's gravity, making its visit fleeting but impactful. This raised many questions about its composition and origin. Scientists have been puzzled by the characteristics of the object called Amua. The first notable thing about Amua is its strange and abnormal shape, different from anything known in our spherical solar system. In our Milky Way solar system, it is common to encounter spherical space objects because gravity pulls them in from various planets within the system. However, Amuya's shape is nothing like that of objects born within our solar system. So how exactly did it look? Based on its brightness variations, AMU Amua appears to have an elongated and irregularly shaped structure, described as resembling a rocky cigar or a pancake, with a length-to-width ratio of about 6 to 1. The mysterious shape of AMU Amua has sparked various speculations. Some believe it may have resulted from a collision in space or debris from the early stages of planetary formation. With its distinctive appearance, this cosmic needle-like object has many intriguing qualities. One of the most interesting aspects of Amua is its reddish tint, similar to that of a cigar. There are a few theories about why Amua might have this red tint. One possibility is that it is made of a carbonaceous material, such as a comet nucleus. Another possibility is that AMU Amua is covered in organic molecules, which can also have a red tint. However, it is also possible that the red tint is caused by something else entirely. Some scientists have suggested that radiation damage from the interstellar medium could be responsible for the red tint. 
In addition to its peculiar shape and color, AMU Amua was observed to be tumbling through space, which is quite unusual compared to other moving space objects. Scientists have been investigating and proposing various explanations for the tumbling motion of AMU Amua. They have developed ideas about a binary system in which two objects orbit each other, creating a tumbling effect. One of these objects was forcefully pulled away from its companion, causing it to tumble through space and enter our solar system. The strangeness of this object called AMU Amua doesn't end there. Scientists also noticed that AMU Amua exhibited a non-gravitational acceleration. By analyzing its trajectory, researchers found that AMU Amua deviated slightly from what would be expected based solely on gravitational forces exerted by the Sun and the planets. This change in speed and deviation from the predicted course of gravity is known as non-gravitational acceleration. Normally, when objects like AMU Amua pass through the solar system, their motion is influenced by the sun's and the planet's gravitational pull. Astronomers can predict their paths based on these gravitational forces, and the objects should follow expected trajectories. However, in the case of AMU Amua, astronomers noticed a slight deviation from what was expected based on gravity alone. This deviation suggested the presence of an additional force, leading to the term non-gravitational acceleration. The leading explanation for this non-gravitational acceleration is related to outgassing. When AMU Amua approached the sun, its surface would have been heated by solar radiation. This heating could have caused ice and volatile compounds on its surface to vaporize and turn into gas, which would then be expelled from the object. As gas was ejected in one direction, it acted like a tiny rocket engine, providing a slight thrust in the opposite direction. This thrust resulted in a slight acceleration of AMU Amua, causing the observed deviation from the purely gravitational trajectory. To better understand this, imagine a comet. When a comet gets close to the sun, the solar heat causes the icy nucleus to vaporize. The expelled gas and dust create a glowing coma and a tail. Similarly, AMU Amua, although not a comet, could have experienced a milder version of this process, leading to the observed non-gravitational acceleration. While the nature and source of AMU Amua's non-gravitational acceleration are still not definitively determined, the outgassing hypothesis is one of the most plausible explanations based on the available data. Another intriguing aspect of Amua is its reflectivity, also known as its albedo. Scientists were astonished to find that AMU Amua reflected only 5-10% to of the light that hit it, which is exceptionally low compared to other space objects. It also exhibited an unusual fluctuation in brightness, making it challenging to study, as its brightness rapidly changed while tum. Bling through space. The exact reason for its low reflectivity is unknown, but a few possible explanations exist. One possibility is that AMU Amua's surface was made of dark, carbon-rich materials that absorb more light and reflect less, resulting in a low albedo. Another theory is that AMU Amua might have had a thin layer of icy material on its surface that turned into gas as it got close to the sun. This gas could have created a temporary haze or cloud around the object, making it hard to see what it looked like. Prolonged exposure to cosmic rays and solar wind in interstellar space could have caused space weathering on its surface, darkening it and resulting in low reflectivity. The irregular and tumbling motion of AMU Amua might have exposed different areas of its surface to our telescopes at different times, leading to variations in observed brightness. Despite its low reflectivity and the mystery surrounding its nature, astronomers could only study AMU Amua briefly before it left our solar system. However, its sudden reappearance has sparked ongoing debates and discussions among the scientific community about its origin and nature. Where exactly did AMU Amua come from? In an attempt to unravel the origins of a Muamua, the scientific community has put forward a wide array of hypotheses. One such hypothesis, suggested by Dr. Meech, proposes that AMU Amua might have been ejected from a distant star following a supernova explosion. Another possibility is that it formed through the collision and fusion of two celestial objects. Initially, astronomers were captivated when they observed AMU's trajectory, which seemed to be pointing toward Vega, the brightest star in the Lyra constellation. Vega is known to possess a debris disk, adding to the intrigue. Calculations indicate that Amua could have traveled from Vega to our vicinity in approximately 600,000 years. 
However, the likelihood of Vega being the exact source has diminished due to substantial alterations in AMU Amur's path. It appears that Amu encountered a new star system for the first time, which explains the changes in its course. Although AMU Amur's exact journey remains a mystery, there is a possibility, as proposed in the journal Nature, that it has been journeying through the galaxy for billions of years, and its future trajectory is uncertain. To illustrate this, we can consider how the Voyager spacecraft gained speed from Jupiter's gravitational assist. Similarly, AMU Amur is accelerating due to the Sun's influence, propelling it at a greater speed and in a different direction. Dr. Meech emphasizes that AMU Amur and other similar asteroids revolutionize our perspective of the galaxy. When we gaze at seemingly distant and isolated stars, it contrasts with what these asteroids reveal. They remind us of the interconnectedness and mystery of the universe. For instance, the oxygen and iron in our blood all started with a massive explosion in a distant cosmic location. The gold found in items like wedding rings resulted from the collision of superend stars. Even the meteorites that occasionally strike Earth, some of which potentially originate from Mars due to asteroid impacts, have fascinating implications. Some esteemed scientists contemplate that these meteorites could have transported life from Mars to Earth when Mars had habitable warm and wet conditions. This theory suggests that life might have originated on Mars and then traveled on these meteorites to Earth. However, this is a fascinating and bold concept that astronomers are still pondering. Yumu Amua, being an interstellar traveler, took hundreds of thousands of years to reach our solar system. Although this may seem like a long time to us, it is very short in the grand scale of the universe. The Milky Way galaxy, in which our solar system resides, is about 10 billion years old. During this time, AMU Amua could have passed around 20,000 star systems. While this number may seem small compared to the galaxy's 200 billion stars, it still indicates many encounters for AMU Amua as it traveled through the galaxy. As it moved, it likely left behind dust and debris, which could have caused interactions between stars and planets. This suggests that the universe may be more interconnected and smaller in scope than we thought. Even though Alamu is no longer visible from our perspective, it seems that our solar system still has some influence over it. Scientists have meticulously traced AMU Amua's path back to before it entered our solar system. This was done by comparing its trajectory to the historical positions of 7 million stars tracked by the Gaia spacecraft. By rewinding AMU Amua's path and the orbits of these stars, scientists identified potential points where they intersected. From this analysis, for candidate stars emerged as possible origins for AMU Amua. These stars had trajectories that closely approached AMU's path. According to NASA, AMU Amua's course intersected within a range of 1 to 2 U cloud radii, equivalent to 100,000 to 200,000 astronomical units. However, there were some complications to consider. The velocities of these candidate stars were relatively high, ranging from 6 to 16. This raised questions because AMU Amua is believed to be a planetesimal, a remnant from the early stages of planetary formation, and it's unusual for planetesimals to have such high velocity solely from interactions with large planets. Scientists try to define the interstellar object to protect the Earth from the possible catastrophic impact of AMU Amua's sudden return. What exactly is Amua? Is it a comet or an asteroid? Amua has puzzled scientists since its discovery. While some classify it as a comet, others say it is an asteroid. But to better understand the reason behind each claim, we must understand the characteristics of comets and asteroids. Comets are icy bodies that develop tails called comas as they come closer to the sun. These comas are formed by releasing dust and gas from the comet's nucleus due to the sublimation of volatile materials on its surface. Here lies a significant difference between AMU and comets. Despite its proximity to the Sun during its journey through the solar system, Amman did not exhibit a visible coma. This absence of a coma is one of the primary reasons why it is not classified as a comet. On the other hand, asteroids are rocks that orbit around the Sun. They are smaller than planets, and most of them are found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Asteroids are made of rock and metal and come in different sizes and shapes. Some asteroids have carbon-based stuff in them. Thanks for watching.